Okay, now we need to look at the bridge, which is the part where it goes, I believe I've passed the age, you know. The bass changes uh, um, rhythm a little bit, it goes to a bum, 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 bum. So it's a little bit different rhythm, and it goes on F's, octave F's, low. F, F, G, G, B flat, D, C, B flat, A, A, B flat, B flat, C, 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 D. What's going on in the right hand is that you play octave chords. So I want you to form with middle C kind of in the middle of the chord, I want you to form an F chord. F, A, C, F. Thumb on F, pinky on F. And what you're going to do is you're going to play F, C, and A with your pinky and middle finger and index finger and then toggle down to thumb like so. same thing that he does in Leningrad, for those of you that are big Billy Joel fans. You know, so, bum, bum. Okay, so it's an F chord. Bum, bum, bum. Now it goes to a G minor 7 chord, which is, of course, you're going to play F D and B flat and toggle down to G with your thumb. So you've gone. Then it's a B flat chord. F, B flat, D and F. And it's B flat, B flat over D. And then you simply go to a three chord, a three note chord. C, E, or G, C and E. While the bass is going F, F, G, G, B flat, D, C, B flat. Notice when it goes bottom, you're playing a, a C chord over a B flat bass, which does two things. One, it, it makes it sound like a C7, but it also has the interesting effect that can only happen when you play a chord over the bass that's a whole step under your root. So, bum. Then you're to an F chord over an A bass. Then to a B flat chord again. Then to a C chord. up to a D chord, A, D, and F sharp. So again, watch this real slow. I'm going to play it slow and you're on an octave F chord, octave F's in the bass. chord and we follow the exact same pattern except we start on a G so you have G chord G, G octave chord G B D G then to an A minor 7 which is A C E and G so then to a C chord G C E G and the bass line is going G, G, A, A, C, E. 
Now it goes to a D chord over a D, A, D, and F sharp. Down to a C with still a D chord but over a C. Now you're back to your G chord over a B bass. C, then down to a G over a B. So let's just get that far and then I'll show you how to do the cool. Okay, so, but let's get that far. So you're going back on F here. I'm going to play it slow. It's your octave F chord and octave F's in the bottom. again maybe even a little slower octave F chords or an octave F chord in your right hand and octave F's in the left hand One more time and then we'll move on with your F chords. there but you'd be surprised how much more difficult it is to play this stuff slow when you're used to playing it at full speed I apologize you will actually learn it better than I do that's one of the thrills for me about these tutorials is it really teaches me how to play these damn things even though I thought I already knew you want to talk about a way to really go in and learn the intricacies of a song figure it out completely and try to teach it to somebody that'll learn you okay so when it gets to the part here now uh, when it goes from here what happens is you go back into playing quarter notes in your left hand and it's a two three four two two three four then d two three four two two three four So what you do with the right hand is you're playing octave chords over this, um, and it's an A chord, okay? A, C sharp, E, and A. You play uh, the three notes on top, the C sharp, E, and the A, and you toggle down to your thumb like so. You can do that. The other thing you can do is just play the C sharp and the A and toggle down to the thumb because you're going to be doing these uh, sixths moving up. So it's A sharp or A and C sharp toggling down to A. Then it's B and D toggling down to B. Then C sharp and E toggling down to C sharp. And then C, it's um, E and G toggling down to E. So, bottom, bottom. Over the 
top of this. Ba da ba da ba da ba. So you actually don't toggle on the E, G, and E. You just play those. Ba da ba da ba da ba. And then you go to a D chord and you do the same thing. D and F sharp toggling down to a D. Ba da. E and G toggling down to an E. Then F sharp and A toggling down to an F sharp. And then you simply play A, C, and A like that while you're playing quarter notes underneath on a D. So it looks like and sounds like this. I'll play it slow. Now, if you're familiar with your chords and scales at all, you could start this at a different, you could start it at the third or the fifth of a chord of the chord. So here we're, we're on tonic with A. We're playing octave A's with a C sharp there, but you could start it on C sharp and do the same thing. The same thing. It just you just find a different place in the scale and follow the notes up just like you would this the same technique so however you want to do it is fine but I believe that uh, what we normally hear is this So, let me show that to you one more time slow, and then we'll do the whole line. Um, in fact, I'm going to do the entire line from beginning through that a little bit slow, and then we'll show it at full speed. So you came in and you went on your F chord, you went... speed you're gone Okay, you do that. That is exactly what you play if you're just doing the piano part for both the bridge and when the cool kind of organ solo thing comes in. Okay, so I'm going to see you in the next section, uh, which is the last part of the tutorial, and I'm going to show you how to play the little organ solo in case you want to do that. Um, and then I'll just do a wrap up and kind of run through the whole thing so you know where all these pieces fit together. See you there.